All right, mini review time. Today we're gonna to be talking about these little respirators here. This is a 3M something or other. I don't know, I'll figure out uh, exactly what model this is. I'll look it up on the old Amazon thing. And uh, these things are bloody excellent. I've been wearing these since at least 2017, I think even longer. I might have bought my first one of these back when I lived at home, back in Ohio before I even moved out in 2014. But whatever the case, these things are uh, essentially a little very good filter that fits underneath of your welding helmet just like that it's not bulky it's not like knocking into the sides or anything there's tons of room under there and they work phenomenally well for any time see look, look at all that room look at that look at that lucky yeah they work phenomenally well and uh and what's great about these is not always will you have an opportunity to set up a fume extractor or a large fan or something along those lines. Sometimes you just plain and simple have to weld, or in my case earlier, plasma cut. Uh, some really nasty stuff and there's a lot of fumes that are involved with that. And there's no reason not to have one of these respirators. Like I know I'm not usually like, you have to buy this or else you're not a real welder, blah, blah, blah. But the simple fact is it's not very much money and it will keep all of this junk out of your lungs. Now let me show you what we're working on today. These discs are out of a pair of brake drums. I needed the bolt patterns out of them for uh, something that I'm working on. So I had to cut through some nasty old cast iron brake drums. Uh, one of them was off the side of this truck that had a leaky wheel seal. So when I pulled the brake drum off, the shoe was literally slathered in a combination of gear lube and brake dust. It was like grease. It looked like it was so mixed together someone put black grease on there. That's how nasty it was. And that is all over the inside of this drum. And I'm sitting there plasma cutting away on this thing. And uh, through the entire process, I got a whopping hint of smoke one time as the entire building was filling with smoke. And that actually wasn't even while I was working here. I was carrying the remains of the brake drums out, so I think I like moved the respirator somehow. But other than that, I couldn't even smell the smoke, and it's great. The other thing is, I had a shop rag laying on this table, and it flared up and caught on fire. And uh, what are you gonna do in that situation? Like on one hand, you're cutting away, and you know, that stuff's burning around you, and you're like, oh, I should do something about this. What are you gonna do about it? You're gonna throw it in the trash can and catch that on fire? No, you just let it sit on the table, or in this case, the flatbed here, until it burns out. So, uh, these things are not expensive. You can get replacement cartridges for them. I do not. I simply throw them away. You know why? Because they get nasty on the outside and then like, you know, you're breathing into this thing. So there's all that moisture. It gets nasty on the inside. Uh, you can clean them, but it's one of those things where there's a lot of little like nooks and crannies you have to get to and it takes time and it's not much cheaper than just buying a full one with a brand new set of filters because it's just a little plastic neoprene, whatever it is thing. So this is my random review of the day. If you're going to be doing any kind of thermal application, on uh, machinery of any sort or steel that's ever had like grease and oil, you really have to get either one of these or something like it. I don't like to be pushing people to buy stuff, but what's the alternative? You save that $16 and then for a solid, you know, 10 minutes or something, you're breathing a nice uh, gear oil, asbestos break, and Lord only knows what else slurry that's in this thing. I'm sure glad I have this $16 in my pocket. This is taking years off my life, but I can get the upgraded data plan for my cell phone. Oh yeah, that's some good axle lube right there. <laughs> yeah, you gotta pop my ears now. Anyway, uh, yeah, where I was going with this is I've been wearing these things for years and I really, really like them. I would not like to be without them. And uh, they're, they're excellent, they really are. It's a quality product, it's not very expensive, it works very well. Random review of the day is one of those things where when you need it, you really need it because the alternative is you breathe in all that filth and even though I don't use mine every day, every time I put this thing on, I'm like, I am really glad I'm not breathing in all the smoke I'm seeing underneath the hood right now. So, random video, but thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more. Video's over, everyone go home.